not uh, not bad guys really not bad but i'm here today to test your free kicks let's do it let's do it <laughs> So, we set up the mannequin. This looks like it favours the right footer. Yeah, that's a good position normally for right foot. And then always the best is you need to focus at one point in the wall. But always the goalkeeper is afraid for that first post. Yeah. And the second option is second post. Because the goalkeeper normally, when he is afraid, he make always one step to the middle, yeah. and then Too if late. you hit the ball to the second post, sneaky. Yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. reach the ball. I like it. Focus at one point of the wall. Normally between the the second and the third, ball goes in by the first post. That's so interesting. I've never heard that. I usually just look at the goal. Look right? at the goal. Yeah. yeah. But, but you you look at always, the wall. Always depending the position of the wall. Yeah. It's a little bit the game between the goalkeeper yeah. and you. Yeah. Poker. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Didn't get it right. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> nice. Well, that's, yes. well, that's, Good. That, the impact that I had straight away, that line, it's key, right? Yeah. I, I would mean, never think to aim just above a wall and no. that's, that's your target. The mm. goal's always been my target, but when you think of it like that, it makes sense. It's true. Yeah. That's really good advice. I appreciate that. So, Ronald, with this, I'm a left footer. Where do you think I should be aiming in the wall? Between the first and the second. Yeah. Because the technique will, or the shot, yeah. will be to the first post, but also possible yeah. second post. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice one. So Ronald just gave us a bit of advice where the keeper always steps to the right, favouring that side. So if you shoot to the left-hand side of the keeper, um, they're kind of stumbling, not knowing what to do. They can't react. So I'm going to try one of them. Of preparation. And you, you know set plays in football. Oh! oh yes! Well done. <laughs> he went really ball. Ball. That's fast. Now, Ronald, is it true that in every team you like to have a free kick specialist who's left footed and one who's right footed. Yes, that's that's the best. Because that's more difficult for the goalkeeper. Because the goalkeeper, if you, the right foot is behind the ball and not a left, he, he knows for sure that's the right foot. But if you have a left foot and a right foot behind the ball to take the free kick. Confuses the keeper. Yeah, uh. what is he expecting? Will take the left or the right foot will take the, the free kick? Ronald, the more I talk to you, the more I see you're a crafty, crafty geezer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yes! Well done! Play, Jess. So, Ronald, talk us through your free kick technique when you used to play. Yes, first of all is then always the position. I was, my position was always side on the ball. Like this. Very side on, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, of course, if you shoot first post, your body needs to be a little bit like this because you need to shoot over the wall, but the ball needs to come down. Yeah. But I scored twice against Real Madrid, and I was when I played for PSV in Holland, I was training a lot every day, ten balls to the second post. Yeah. And after two months, eight or nine of the ten were very close, or in, or on the post in the second post. Because that's all about training. Do you think you can train too much on free kicks? No. No, no never no, too much. Not too much. Never Kids, too much. Kids, you heard it first here. Never too much. Never too much. Practice makes perfect. What about the knuckleball? What about the knuckleball? I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's because it's inconsistent, right? Yeah, but yeah. most of the balls over. They go fly over. over. The, yeah. the thing is, when you hit it right, the keeper hasn't got a chance. Mm. But to master that technique and get it right every time is, is difficult, right? It's difficult. Should we I try a few? I think we should try a few. Yeah, I think so. Let's, <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. I know you don't like it. Okay, you don't come like on. It. It's good entertainment for the crowd though, you know. It gets people involved, isn't it? In fact, just because you don't like it. <laughs> Are you rolling? Are you ready? Oh! <laughs> 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 
that's why I don't like it. Oh, Phil! Nice. Close. Was it, was it knuckle though? It was knuckle. It was it. No spin on the ball, yeah. I know you don't like them, Ronald, <laughs> but when they go right, it looks a little bit like this. <laughs> Just saying, like, if you can find a player who's a free agent, <laughs> who can do knuckleballs, I'm just saying. Tell me again. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's one for the knuckleball. Everyone is team knuckleball. Representing there. Bitch, do it on my way. <laughs> You can't just predict it with this. No goals, no yeah, goals. Yeah. He's, he's not like, he's not no, having no, the knuckleball. No, show me, yeah. show me the normal way. Look. Hey, oh, go, I'm outnumbered go. here. Mate. <laughs> I got, can't deny it. Whippage, whippage I mean, is that, definitely that was, more that consistent. Was so, that was soft, that was soft. Okay, it bounced, but. On target. Yeah, on target. On target. Guys, I'm outnumbered oh, yeah. here. Let's do a few more, come on. <laughs> I, I, let's do a few more. I'm just saying, when it works, it works! Don't kill this one. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to dispel the myth here. Saying they say the whippage is much more consistent. It's funny because I didn't aim for the goal, I'll aim for above that the, the yeah. first man's head. A good free kick is not stopped by the goalkeeper. It's not about power, is it really? It's about placement. You put it in that right area, it's a technique. It's a technique. So they, they'll sort of the keeper for that. I do know what you're saying. This stance is technically unnecessary for the technique, but Football is an entertaining sport, and if it gets the crowd excited, why not? <laughs> Bang it, top beat says. That's what can happen with an knuckleball sometimes. Oh, it didn't matter. Don't matter about the wall. You don't matter. It's brother. irrelevant. You, you learn that with your technique, guys. I'm telling you, get yourself over a park, get yourself onto a pitch, and practice that technique. Like Ronald said, make sure you're side onto the ball, completely side on. Lean over the ball when you're striking it and get your toe up over the ball to get that whippage effect. You can do it! Get practicing. Jez, where's your knuckleball? It's coming. Is, to be fair, Jez has done well with knuckleball today, but they are, as you know, unpredictable and really hard to do. Nice, Jez. So guys. <laughs> nice. Don't, don't one, rule out the knuckleball. It's not as consistent as whippage, but there may be a place for it in society. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> Ronald, I've loved today, mate. Thank you so much for taking the time out to Thank help you, us. Mate. Well, you're you. Honestly, your knowledge and advice, some of the things you've taught me, I've never been taught them before. Yeah, and it's the improvement's unbelievable from that little bit of knowledge you passed on to us. The improvement in our free kicks was incredible. So we'll take that on in the future, no doubt. Well done boys, I hope uh, that I uh, gave you some good advices. Keep working, I put some uh, targets, you hit the target, it's no goalkeeper in the world stopping that ball. Let's kick it and see how it goes. So Ronald's put the targets in the top corner and it's our duty now to go and hit them targets. Now, it's not going to be easy is it Jez? It's not and they are quite small targets. It might go first time or it might not, but the whole point of this video is to drive a point home, isn't it, Bill? That's right. We're going to take the help that Ronald gave us with the tips and the tricks on how to hit the top corner, put it into practice, and let's see how many goes it takes us till we hit the top bins. That's right. And we're not going to quit until we get it. Let's do it. How did that not hit? No idea, mate. Mate, even, right. even the target's going, what happened there? Mate, it's confused, it's baffled. Even the target's confused. Yeah! 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 Shot, Jim. 
Thank you. Well done, boys. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Did not take uh, a long time uh, to hit the target. Uh, we missed a few, but I think your help, that them, them points that you said about getting it over the wall, using that as a target, for me, that really helped me. So, um, okay. Thank you very much, and um, we'll be in on training on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Two-year contract. Ronald, it's been an absolute pleasure having you with us today, giving us the, the advice and the motivation we need to master the perfect free kick. So, thanks for that. That's right. The same way that quitting smoking is more successful with expert support from a healthcare professional, having you there with us on the pitch, obviously you're a master, an expert in free kicks, to help us, support us and challenge us, it definitely had a positive impact on our free kicks. Um, how did you find it? Did we hit the targets quicker than expected or did we take longer? No, it was, it was quicker than, than, than I expected. He took the advices and, uh, and you see if you go on, if you continue to improve and uh, then you will be a better uh, free kicker. Don't forget guys, with a healthcare professional you're more likely to quit smoking than just using willpower alone. Anyway guys, buy that contract. <laughs> <laughs>